Hello everybody, my name is Anson, welcome back to Let's Play Hard to Find 4 as the CSA. Let us continue on from we last left off. So, they're actually pushing very far, the PSA is actually pushed very far into my territory over here. I actually have not really been noticing how much the, uh, how much the Pacific States have pushed into the, the flyover country. The Midwest, whatever you want to call it. I don't even know what to call it, so... You can probably counterattack into both of these provinces. Yes, yeah, so you push here, but half of you push your way into New Orleans. We're gonna take over by uh, Bouton Rouge. We're gonna push our way over here. The Florida campaign is going to go absolutely a-okay. And then I guess we're gonna send all those troops, uh, like here. And then they're gonna offensive line their way basically to uh, through Nevada. What kind of attack plan is this? What is what? What is this arrow? You're just gonna offensively push your way to basically the coast. You're not gonna be there quite yet. You're gonna be there, you know, as soon as you're down with the Florida situation. But that shouldn't even take too long. So okay, we're very very close to taking New Orleans, the jewel of the American Union states will soon be ours. Yeah, just like basically never stop attacking. And these guys need to never like stop losing territory because they're doing that actually quite well. Which is a little bit annoying. Why would you counterattack into those guys? Counterattack here because they're actually like significantly weaker. We're no longer getting a bonus for the push against the longest. Are they still pushing against the Syndicalists? No, so I'm not too worried about that. You know what? Push against the Pacific States. Recruit some more militias. And these guys should automatically redeploy as soon as uh, these battles are over. Or as soon as this front line basically disappears, which will be, I guess, when they take over Miami. Yeah, like, we're just doing absolutely fine. Don't even have to worry about what uh, Blue's doing. Go, go, go. You guys are still pushing your way to the coast. 44 to 71 divisions. Do you think you'd have better something better to do than develop some light cruisers, uh, Huey Long? Such as, you know, not losing the war or literally anything else would be probably a better use of your time than what you're doing right now. 79 divisions here. He's trying to send reinforcements in, which is not great. So we're done with this attack. Push into this province so they do not send reinforcements. Or 79, which is uh, pretty, pretty uh, good for us. Like, you guys aren't, aren't attacking right now, but that's not a huge concern. I mean, you are slightly losing territory just over and over and over again. It'd be really nice if you didn't do that. But as soon as we actually, uh... I was gonna say, we can probably stretch the front line out a lot, but it's actually not gonna be that much of a difference. And our troops are getting very, very well experienced just by this constant, constant warfare. So New Orleans, this battle's gonna last another three days, roughly. Keep on marching down south. So keep advancing. You guys got yeah, the fall of New Orleans. The Union Stronghold is now, you know, they just should sort of hopefully die soon. Uh, they are at uh, 37%. Their new capital is in Dallas. Okay, so, you know, Red Army for right now, uh, stop and hold position. Because you've now done this objective. That's fine. So your battle plan now is to spearhead your way to Dallas and Austin. Purple, your job is to offensive line your way down the coast like that. So you push for that. You uh, just hold on for now. Order's been restored to Kentucky. Fantastic. Getting our cores back. And just waiting for our organization to build up. And then counter push into them. And even then, it doesn't even sound like the entirety of the army. So, send some reinforcements over there. Send troops over there. All of you like that. Excellent. 
just deal with the, the Huey Long. And yeah, he's really the only one that matters right now. Miami's about to fall soon. The Red Dragon. And we've gotten some better Howitzers. Every leader gets a little bit better as well here. So what do I want to... Oh, no, I automatically research something for free, I guess. Oh, yeah, okay, just uh, unlocks uh, something for free. It might have been a thing I had already researched. Which, actually, I think it was, looking at a... Uh, that I didn't actually get the... You're building outdated equipment option, so... Probably really do, didn't do anything for us, but that's okay. So the longest have retreated... To good old Dallas, Texas. We might actually be able to walk into Dallas right now. It wouldn't be a huge challenge. Miami is worth five victory points, not an insignificant number. How much is Dallas worth? Uh, Dallas is worth 10. Austin is worth. Who the hell knows? Because I won't let me see it. San Antonio is also worth 10. So there's actually a lot of victory points in. Oh, actually, this is not. Uh, that's not core territory there, so never mind. It doesn't matter at all. We are just pushing our way to Miami. And then they should all strategically redeploy all the way to this front over here. We'll be able to... Uh, it's only one militia out of Florida, which is more or less garbage, but... I guess it is technically better than nothing? Somewhat. It's somewhat better than nothing. Did we ever get our decryption yet? We did. Apparently it wasn't actually good enough, though, to really see anything new though and okay, I'll push your way over there the Dallas Texas we did take over Dallas we're at 28 percent now the game still says that Dallas is their capital so I guess that's fine whole position the Pacific States have declared war on the American Union State once again. I guess they're just like, eh. The Russian Republic has taken two states. Georgia has been annexed. Why would you declare war on the Pacific States again? That really, or against the American Union State? I mean, I don't really care that much, I guess, but I'm just a little bit surprised. Apparently you feel very confident with an attack. I don't know why, but sure, if you feel confident with an attack, do it. My guess is that the AI has tried to... Okay, delete this plan, because uh, it's, it's not getting everybody involved. Yeah, so all of you are on this offensive line. And you just attack. Everybody else is attacking, so, you know, just get in on the fun. There you go. So you are all at least secured in that position. Okay, not everybody wants to strategically redeploy. So... Okay, so about half of them will. The other half of them won't. Can somebody explain to me why it does this? I don't... I do not know. I cannot grasp why it's... Such a strange system like that. I guess they meant, so the PSA, the Screaming Eagles. I mean, I guess Austin's really like the only other major city they have left. At least I think it is. Uh, I mean, okay, they have Houston. Houston and Austin and San Antonio. Not San Antonio. Austin and Houston are like the only cities they have left at all. Because that's not even a core territory of theirs. Yeah, this is Dallas. I'm not crazy. I do have control over Dallas. Japan's declared war on the Chinese. Uh, what can we get accomplished right now? You go over there to reinforce. You guys are actually pushing against these guys quite well, surprisingly. The Canadians are still uh, more f uh, fortifying up. China's joined the Reich's Pact. Okay, then. I didn't even know that was a possibility, but sure. So what, is Germany just going to be at war with the Japanese now? The answer is not quite, but I'm sure we are going to get there. 
Unless they have like a modifier, like, hey, not calling in allies, but I don't think that'd be the case. So nope, Germany and uh, Japan are just gonna be at war. I've never seen this happen. Oh, the American United States. We've almost gotten the control of Kansas, which will allow us to train, what, like two more militias? Uh, no, not even listen. We might have already trained our Kansas militias earlier. Oh, now you'll shoot. Oh, God, whatever. Just go all the way up to the north. That's your job. Please do your job. Red, I want you to be extremely aggressive in your battle plan. Uh, you... The fall of Madrid. You go and reinforce that front. Who got in control of Madrid? It was a CNT FAI. Not, uh, bad. It's good for us. Okay, we can get our Nebraskan troop. Our singular Nebraskan division. Yeah, apparently they're just very, very well defended. Can I go for pushing against the longest? No, because we're pushing against the, uh... Pushing against what's, what are they called? The PSA right now, I'm pretty sure, so... Not really going to get anything done there. And we got to slowly... Madrid's going to run hyper bad. That's fine. We've got to slowly start pulling our way towards Austin. The Pacific State's already, like, half... How are they, like, already, like, capitulated? Oh, the American Union State has territory there. Like, in Los Angeles. Can someone... How come I don't get any... Uh, troops like that? But the American Union State's had to happen, like, three times so far. Answer is, I have no idea. Not a single good clue. Okay, we've appointed some established officers, giving us... Some pretty nice bonuses. We'll get our motorized divisions better. And that's, I think, basically all we can do until the Civil War is actually over. You know, and we're getting there. Slowly but surely, we are getting there. But it's still going to take some time. Okay, so we've upgraded our Thompson. Did that at least give us a bonus to the M1 Carbon? No. But we have a bonus to this. Your 1940 tech, but still, I'm going to research it. Even though it's, like, way ahead of time. I think that's fine for what we're trying to accomplish here. And our blue divisions, uh, some of them actually have reached the front lines, which is good for them. And let us upgrade our infantry equipment to get the M1 Thompsons. Just get them in production. There you go, so I keep on pushing. Uh, I think this might be copyrighted, so we're just going to skip that song right away. I don't know if that recording of uh, Flight of the Valkyries is going to get me the, the big old copyright hammer. So 77, we're pushing our way through here. Uh, yeah, we can at least defend this territory. We're pretty, pretty close to Austin right now. At 24%. We need to get it down to 10%, which does suck. Please go on this front with the Canadians. Thank you. Hopefully when all the militias, like, uh, demobilize, we actually get back all the guns. If we don't, that is gonna... Not, like, screw us over completely, but it would be just slightly annoying. Okay, so once you are here, please move down to the south. You counter pushing this guy, because I want to take Austin. Even though I'm still pretty sure that won't be enough to... Capitulate them. It'll get us, uh, you know, slightly, slightly closer. 68. Please stop with, uh... The Pacific Rebels. Where? Why are they here? How come I don't get Rebels? Have my troops rebel in California. That'd be, like, so much better for me than all of this me being on the, the, the wrong side of these, uh, events. Maybe because I'm winning, the game is not going to uh, give me anything. I'm honestly not too sure. I mean, these guys are surrounded. They should basically just, like, die anyways. As far as I can tell, there's really no way they can really get anything done. So 
So we got some guys in a Dallas right now. I mean, Houston is a port province. We could maybe do like an alien invasion and try to land in the city. So, uh, of course, they've landed also in Miami. Does that affect the, the, the uh, no, they're at war with each other, so never mind. That's not going to really affect that. So you guys just go over there, please. Deal with that nonsense. I prefer, you know, no nonsense in my, uh, my war here. Or has been reserved to Missouri. Excellent. So things are getting slightly better for everybody involved. Split in half. Go and counter to them. But not everybody. Please. Thank you. Yeah, so you're going to have no supplies. You're basically just shit. So you should hopefully die very soon. You're going to be multiple combats. 96, 95. How long do you get into Houston? Or into Austin? I think you one day. It's going to take you immediately. Okay, fantastic. Is that enough for their capitulation? More guns. No, we're at 19%. San Antonio is not even a core state of the. Oh, it is a core state. Never mind. I guess it is a core state. They really just want to drag this war on forever, don't they? They just do not know when to give up. Deploy those troops way up to the north. Okay, pushing it away that way is not going to work out so well. You're fine doing what you are. San Antonio and Houston. Those are the two crowns that we must take. Our diamonds in the rough. Yeah, so we got a handful of PSA troops. If they do a port. Will the AI send troops over there? I don't know. Like, it's entirely possible. You know, Purple, your front line is so short right now. Please actually extend that, like, a lot. The collapse of the Union. Uh, appears the Union government is last legs. Already most of the land is swallowed by the CSA and other American factions. Yes, please, for the love of God, fall apart. Oh, there we go. That event actually uh, did the job for us. So at midnight tonight, they will capitulate. I will take all states. Thank you. And now, the PSA, you... Wait, what did, what did troops get here, either? Like, get out of here! So now we gotta, like, kind of replan our positions here. So, uh... Purple Army, front line there. Red Army, front line here. And Yellow Army, yeah, you are... Kind of fine where you are. I'm going to stretch this out like this way, shrink it like that. But with the fall of the American Union State, I think that this is going to be a good time to end this episode. Thanks very much for watching. My name is Anthem. If you've enjoyed, give a thumbs up. If you enjoyed, click thumbs down. Much more to subscribe and goodbye.